Hello YouTube, this is Ryan, and this video is to announce that the ZOA beta is finally ready. So if all you care about is the link that is actually in the description of this video, and you can just click on that and get on with your life. Um, I do have a couple other things to mention though. Uh, there's a couple ways to join the beta. So, you know, if you, if you want to just try it out, I have a public link, a public test flight link available. And, you know, I feel pretty, pretty good about where it's at, you know, so I think it, it'll be a good preview for people. And I also have this option that says join the elite beta testing group. And now that I'm starting to, you know, work on app development full time, it's going to be really beneficial to me if I can build a group of people that are willing to help me kind of push my apps a little bit harder, a little bit further. Uh, having good beta testers is just so huge and it helps me make better software for people. So if you're enthusiastic about iOS music and you're willing to try like the bleeding edge stuff, I would encourage you to, to join that. I've got this little form on my website where you know basically you'll just give me your email and I'll use that to communicate with you about the test flight builds and you know I'll invite you to 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 even new apps you know you'll get kind of previews of things that I'm working on um I've been having a real hard time getting I'm trying out OBS and I'm having a hard time getting it it working with audio properly so I'm not going to be able to show as much as I wanted today but I just wanted to mention if you're trying out the beta I do have this manual here and you can just kind of refer to that it's in the standalone version of the app and you know there's a lot of things to, to test out you know there's Ableton Link uh, there's Bluetooth MIDI there's MIDI input and output in the standalone I have a implementation for MIDI clock receiving you know if you're willing to to give that a try, that would help me out. I Right now it only syncs to whole BPMs. And, you know, I'm, I'm working on proving that. I actually just recently watched a video uh, that one of Michael Tyson's old videos, and I gave me some ideas about how to improve my implementation. Uh, you got the, you got the audio unit here as well. Um, it's got all of its parameters exposed, you know, so have fun with those. You can modulate them, let me know how it goes. And um, got a lot of scales to choose from. If you think of scales that are missing, let me know they're fairly easy to add. Encourage you to look through the rules. Uh, you know, if you're not sure what it does, just, just listen to it, see how it goes. And then also uh, this pattern control I'm pretty excited about. On the right side, you can create kind of rhythmic variations. Each playhead will be able to have its own pattern. And you can just, you know, create some interesting polymeters uh, and kind of melodic elements that way, or rhythmic elements, sorry. So, you know, if you're interested, uh, check out the beta testing link and let me know how it goes. I'm hoping that people enjoy it and hoping to get some good feedback. And just hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And we'll see you later.